picture line number three is the switch. Now, for the switch, we have already danced our throwaway position. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it a little bit longer. We're going to dance one, two, three of our Viennese cross into our throwaway, dance our switch action, and then collect to promenade position for our exit. So we'd now like to demonstrate it to music. Now for the man's foot positions. So gentlemen, we shall say that we have just completed our throwaway position. We are, are in our 230 position. We're going to simply rotate through our left leg and hip, change the angle and shape, remaining on the left foot, pointing the right foot to the side. Then we're going to collect up, right foot closes to left foot, and now forward left into promenade position. And for your footwork, again, we have just danced our throwaway. All the weight is on the left foot, the right foot pointing. We switch. We'll talk about the shape a little bit later. We simply collect up. Toe of the right foot. Right foot closes to left foot. Toe. And then we come out, toe, heel, left foot. And now for some technique. Gentlemen, again, we have already been in our 230 position from our throwaway position. So we're shaping strongly to our right. What will happen at this point, we're going to rotate through our left leg and hip, and we're going to rotate to our right, dissolving the shape from the right to a diagonal left. Now I'd like to demonstrate this from a different angle so you can see more clearly. So we were in our throwaway. I'm now going to rotate through my left leg and hip, switching the lady from our throwaway to a pointing position, which is our switch, you'll see that there's a strong diagonal stretch to my left. And then from here, I'm going to collect up, shaping to the right as my feet close. And then I simply dance out to promenade position. So the key to this switching action is the entry from our uh, throwaway position in having that 230 position, having our axis point with our left leg close to the lady's right leg so that we can rotate our knee, thigh, and hip on the left side to rotate her across our bodies, changing the sway from right to a diagonal stretch left, and then we simply collect up, changing our sway to the right, closing, and then coming out to prominent position. So now we'd like to invite Heather back and discuss the ladies' part. And now the ladies' foot positions for this figure. So we've just shown you that this comes from a throwaway position. So if we take the legs to 230, the foot positions for this figure are the right foot is going to swivel slightly, left foot points to the side without weight, left foot closes to right foot, both feet swivel to promenade, right foot lands in promenade position. And now the footwork. From here, we just take the left foot to the side and point without weight. Left foot closes to right foot. On the toe of the left foot, we are going to swivel both of our feet together in promenade and dance toe heel of the right foot. Now, what's very, very important for this figure, ladies, is that when the man uh, leads this action for us to change our head very, very strongly to the left, we must be very, very careful not to take the upper body to the left foot. So from this actual position, when the man gives us the indication, we are following his right leg as to tell us about the placement of this foot. What we are not going to do is try and throw our body to the outside of the circle and receive the energy from his upper body. We must listen at all times to the man's hips and legs and that will you know, determine where we're going to place our weight. Don't go for the upper body styling. Uh, that is the wrong way to do it because then everything is blown uh, from the weight of the body off the standing leg. So from here, ladies, what I, how I like to exercise this figure is when uh, the man leads it, <laughs> to try and help us with flexibility as it allow the arms to rotate to the right, taking the head to the left, because what you don't want to do is go 
and keep the head frozen. So what you want to be able to do is allow the upper body to rotate around the spine without locking the top. So from here, ladies, again, we're in this 230 position. As the man switches us, our arms want to be very, very flexible. Our head taken left, taking care not to uh, shorten the muscles in the left side of the neck, but to keep the neck nice and long. Then as the man shapes us, we are developing an arc and a curve through the right side. We go to toes of both feet, taking care to swivel the feet underneath the body. So whenever the man leads us to promenade, we want to think of this as a base rotation and not an upper body rotation. And now I'll invite Victor back and we'll demonstrate this together and we'll go through some of the more finer details. Now, as Heather has just stated, again, we want the flexibility in the hands and the arms, not only for the lady, but for the gentleman as well. And to enable us to do that, again, we want to re-emphasize the connection of my left leg and the lady's right leg from our prior figure, which was the throwaway. So from here, as we're dancing in the throwaway, that connection, I turn through my left leg and hip, and that simply revolves the lady from one position to another. So we'd like to demonstrate that from a different angle so you can see more clearly. So we dance our throwaway. You'll notice our connection of weight through my leg, my left leg and hip. I simply rotate my left leg and hip. That will switch the lady across me. And again, because it is going to be base body and head, you'll feel that from the base action, it will allow you to have flexibility also through your hands as you arrive in that switching position. So from here, gentlemen, from our throwaway, You'll see we have a strong shape right. As I switch, we level off and we shape slightly diagonally to our left. Then as we rise up through our left leg, we look at the lady and now we come out to promenade position. Now, one of the other things that we can change in the switching position, if I add a little extra shape through my stretch of my right side, I can even have the lady open her head. So we'd like to illustrate that there would be another sway change that you could have from here. I could open her head by swaying strongly to my left, then I can close her stretching back to my right. And now we're in promenade, just for a, a different uh, styling. And also, ladies, what I want you to uh, be very, very conscious of during this figure is to not try and uh, undercut the man by using the abdominal muscles strongly towards his center. Um, be very, very aware that as you're doing the swiveling action that you're very, very internally balanced with with on your, uh, within your uh, standing leg. So I want it to be very, very conscious, I want you to be very, very conscious of that factor because quite often um, when trying to shape something, the center is taken off the standing leg and then forces uh, put to the man, thus causing us to get a lot of pain in the lower back area. Now we'd like to demonstrate uh, a little waltz timing. If we go back to our first three steps of a Viennese cross to our throwaway, so we can tie it in to a little bit of timing for you. Okay, so we're going to dance. Oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three. And now, if we were dancing, say, tango, let's say we've danced our Viennese cross, we can dance quick, quick, slow, 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 and slow. And of course, if we have slows and quicks, we can have quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick. And that is our switch.